Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The last 24 hours on FIFA 23 have been absolutely crazy. And yes, I'm talking about prices on the market. If you've missed it, we have prices falling by millions of coins on some of these real top tier level up cards. I wanna talk about why specifically these card prices are dropping as much as they are. Will they go lower? Will they go back up in price? And of course, why is it affecting other parts of the market as well? We'll dive into all of that today because I know a lot of you guys are still trying to get objectives done, like myself. And we'll talk about Sunday content today. What will we see? We already had an icon pack yesterday. Will we see a player SBC today? The answer to that's yes, in my opinion. And we might see the return of one of our favorite ways to get a player objective, which is what we saw last Sunday as well. So we're going to look at that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's look at yesterday's content really quick to start off. There's really not a ton to look at, at least with one of these SBCs, and that one is Martin Terrier. We knew he was coming, right? We've got the 93 in objectives. Now we can finally get that card, and you know what? Fair play. This is another cheap SBC, 41,000 coins, one squad, craftable if you're doing any sort of upgrade packs, whether it's the crafting grind, whether it's the, maybe the player picks that'll come back out this coming Monday, but a nice, easy SBC for us to do there. So GG's to EA. Can't complain too much. The upgrade to the 93, since we couldn't see this card before, now we can. It does get a five-star skill move boost. I think it would have been extra special if this guy could have been five-star, five-star, but instead he is only 5'4", high medium, six foot. A decent card. I like the alternate position at striker there, so not a bad one, but also it's only five games. So just throwing five, three League One players whenever you're doing one of these other players and uh, what is it, ass assisted five separate matches with the 91, it is pretty easy to do. I think yesterday as well, we had a store pack or a couple store packs added. I don't remember if these dropped on Friday or if they dropped on Saturday. Uh, but I really love that the 10 coin pack is being constantly re-released. Big fan of that. It's 10 coins. Who doesn't like a pack for 10 coins? Especially uh, when, you know, that's just so cheap, right? Boom. I'll take those golds, right? That goes right into a, a crafting upgrade or something. I believe we maybe had the 500k pack released yesterday as well. Um, and I don't know if this was released on Friday or Saturday. But it's just crazy to go into a pack of this um, level and see a 93% chance of packing a promo card. Like, I don't care what pack it is, 93% chance of packing a promo card out of any promo is really, really nuts. And EA is making bank this year off of these store packs because it just hits on like a top tier upper echelon level of packs that we it's almost like a guaranteed pack but you get 100 players in one pack and that's crazy as well. So some of the biggest packs we've ever seen and some of the best chances to pull really insane cards. So I understand why they keep releasing them because they're actually really fun to open. But uh, moving on back into SBCs, we had an icon pack yesterday and I hope you stocked a little bit of fodder because fodder is moving up once again, especially on that top tier. We had the 90 plus Brazil, France and Netherlands icon upgrade return. And man, it's been a hot minute since we saw this SBC. It is repeatable two times, and the price isn't that bad. 84, 88, 89. 84 squad feels a little annoying. Why does that have to be there? Just, you know, just 88 and 89 would have been fine, and this 84 squad adds not much because 84s are very cheap, but it is, I guess, a nice place to put in a little bit of extra lower-rated fodder if you're doing this SBC. And uh, like we mentioned, guys, fodder is moving. If you picked up any TOTS cards yesterday, if you picked up any 91s, a lot of these cards have gone up in value. Actually, the, the gold 91s, I don't even know how expensive they are right now. How much is Kevin De Bruyne? I actually picked up like 10 to 15 Kevin De Bruyne's at 22 to 23K. He is 27,000 coins. You see a big spike yesterday. He was about 28, 29,000 coins. Lewandowski, remember we talked about in yesterday's video, the gold cards are the move, right? The gold cards are the move because they go up the most from 26K to about 35. Wow, what a rise there on Lewandowski. But then if you look at uh, 91s in general, I mean, all these guys are like 24, 25,000 coins now for the team of the seasons. And I think they were all like 20K or 21K. Yeah, 20 to 21K, boom, straight up to 25. So fodder is rising there. I think VVD was like 20,000 coins as well. Yesterday, yeah, he was 20, 21K, all the way to 26. So 90s were a really big part of the market rising. 88s looked like they're up a little bit. 89s looked like they've gone up a good amount too. It's that high tier of fodder that did the best. And maybe 86s did okay too. Let me double check these. 
uh, from 7K to like almost 9,000 coins and then kind of back down now. So not as big of a movement there. It was the 88s and above that did the best. GG's if you bought in, right? Uh, like I mentioned, I bought some KDBs and it definitely helped that this SBC was repeatable twice because let's be honest, at this stage of the game, guys, I got opinions about this Icon SBC. Yes, I like it. And a couple weeks back, I was really hoping they would release this instead of the 90 plus player pick. And it is fun to pack players from the three biggest nations that Icons are in this game, right? The, the biggest Icons are from Brazil, France, and the Netherlands, respectively. Um, but... This is this is not good enough, man. And it's it's starting to feel like Icon SBCs, since we, I don't know, reached March, they've just been behind the curve. Like Primes still in these packs is crazy. How do I have a chance of packing even like Rude Van Nistelrooy or you know, even like Prime Vandersar is technically a W from this pack, but like, why do we still have a chance of packing some of those really low tier cards, the fodder ones that are primes that have been in this game for months, right? Since it's uh, even 2022, right? The primes were in packs in December. Like, man, it's, it's just... It is not good that those cards are still in this game. And I think, to me, I've been... Some of the most SBCs I've been the most disappointed with in the second half of FIFA this year have been Icon upgrade packs because it seems like these are way far behind the power curve. The rating uh, minimum should be going up on this. If this was a player pick, imagine a 90 plus one of three prime team of the year foot birthday trophy titans. Then I would say, okay, now we're talking because then you have a good chance of, you know, a pick of one of three since that player pool has already decreased by just having those nations in uh, the players coming out of the pick or pack anyway. That would be a really insane player pick. But alas, here we are with a 90 plus pack. But still, I mean, even though this SBC has only an 18% upvote, People love icon pack. I love icon packs in this game. Am I going to do this icon pack? Probably going to try it out, but I'm not happy with it. I do believe that it should be cheaper uh, or it just should be better pack. It should be a better pack. And actually, I don't have that. I don't have that much of a problem with the price. It's more so what the pack gives out that I have the problem with. But regardless, GG's if you invested. Thanks for coming to my rant. And uh, I want to know if you guys feel the same. Do you feel the same way? Drop down in the comments uh, if you do. Um, I just, I mean... Give me some give me give me some other opinions in the comments. Like what other SBCs would you guys like to see related to an icon upgrade pack? I mean, last week by the middle of or end of July, we had like 92 plus moments player picks. Um, and I know we don't have moments this year, but they can definitely do um an SBC that's like the best version of this of, of this icon, whether it does include a few primes, but then also you've got like trophy titans and all that stuff in there. I think they could do something like that. That would be amazing. So I just hope for something better. Just something better, EA. Okay, move up, level up. It's time. This is the promo is called level up. Level up your game on the uh, SBC in icon, the icon world as well. So that's my opinion there. And we probably talked about that for too long. Let's talk about the market. And it's crashing prices right now. Actually, it's crazy. I'll start off by showing you my transfer list. We've been on a wild ride with a few of these cards, right? Bought Renato for 5.7, played games, sold him at 5.1 because I knew he was going to go lower. Sold him last night at 5.1, and I bought him yesterday, uh, or sorry, two nights ago at 5.1. I bought him yesterday on Saturday for 3.2 mil. 3.2 mil. Bought him for 5.6, played games, sold him for 5.1, bought him for 3.2, Sold them for 3.9, and now I have another one that I'm playing games with right now that I bought at a bit of a higher price. But wow, these cards yesterday uh, in Level Up Team 2 and Level Up Team 1 absolutely got obliterated, man. And I mean, I knew prices were going to drop. We talked about it in yesterday's video, right? We knew this was going to happen. But like this, I mean, Goretzka was extinct at 2.9, went all the way up to 6, 7 mil, was about 4 or 5 mil last night in the video, and then all of a sudden, he just absolutely tanked. During the day yesterday, he went down to 2.4, 2.5, went back up to 2.9, and he's kind of down back now to his lowest price yet, 2.4. And I really think that this Goretzka card is really what's impacting a lot of cards in this market in the midfield, specifically Renato Sanchez, right? Renato Sanchez didn't start dropping off yesterday on Saturday until about the same time that Goretzka was dropping off, right? Um, Goretzka, I really think being as cheap as he is was affecting Renato, but with both of these level uh, up team one and team two cards, people are getting the objectives done. They know time is running out as well, and that's affecting all of these cards. Look at Kevin De Bruyne. He's down a lot too. Davies, Werner, Enzo, the guys from Team 1 that still maintain decent values. They're still very, very low. And I really think it's those, like you see De Bruyne, 7 million coins. Renato is now 3.5. Wow. 
And crazy how much he's even dropped off in the past couple of hours. Looks like he's headed back to 3.2 million coins. Like it's crazy how much these prices are dropping off. Um, even on some of the lower tier cards from Level Up Team 2. Right now, it's of course, with these cards, it's a bit different because we knew this was going to happen. It happened last week. And of course, once you get the games done, the sell-off and the relevancy of this card is just not as much, right? It's not it's not as needed. And Tiago Jalo goes from 106,000 coins down to 55k. He's literally dropped in half in about 12 hours on the market. Absolutely mental. Crazy price drops yesterday, and it just seemed so crazy because it was guys like Goretzka going from six mil all the way down to 2.4, where he is now. Gabriel Martinelli, who I bought right here at 1.8 million coins, sold him at about 2.1, sold him too early. He went all the way back to 2.3, but that pales in comparison to where he was. He was 3.5 million coins. He dropped literally in half and then bounced back up a little bit. It's crazy, right? Now, some of the prices are going to do that again today. We know that. Um, I just bought a Nunez for 500,000 coins flat on a bit of a snipe because I'm going to go out and do a couple games with him in objectives. Um, but these prices are probably going to have a few bounces today in the morning on Sunday. But then some of these guys are going to go even lower. I know it sounds crazy and the prices have dropped off a lot, but that's how it goes with these level up cards because more and more people get the objective done and the prices just kind of continue to drop right last night i was looking at chomeni for about 2.1 million coins didn't end up buying him could have sold him could have made a really good flip out of it. he went from 2.1 mil all the way to about 2.5 and now he's 1.4 like look at the state of that man millions of coins lost for a lot of people in this game on literally one day's time that's what these level up cards are really good at doing is losing people coins. Now, on other parts of the market, do we have prices dropping? And we kind of do in just a few areas. And again, I'm going to bring up those midfielders again. Look at this card right here. Jude Bellingham, team of the season, 1.39. Let me show you his graph from yesterday. Now, why would this card be down so much, right? From 1.6, 1.7 mil, all the way down to 1.4. Well, that Goreska card, I really think, is bringing down this card's price in particular and a lot of other really middle to top tier midfielders. I don't think this is this really has any other explanation for why it's down this much, uh, except for the Goretzka getting cheaper, the Chamani getting cheaper, and then pushing down Renato and pushing down all those elite midfielders on this game. But specifically Goretzka, I really think is hurting this Bellingham card. Now, a lot of you guys might be saying, Nate, you talked about footies in yesterday's video. Isn't that impacting prices as well? Yeah, a little bit. I would say so. I think the footies panic, though, is just more of you're not going to see it as much until maybe Monday, Tuesday. Once we start to learn more about footies, that's when you're going to start to see that panic really pick up again. Once we see leaks, once we see a loading screen or more information around packs added to the code related to footies. But yesterday, what I was talking about was that's just a good opportunity as prices on a lot of your out-of-pack special cards are still maintaining pretty solid levels. Yuris is still 900,000 coins. Pogba is still 4.5 mil. Some of the even the team of the season cards that we were looking at yesterday. De Bruyne, uh, Delict is still 700,000 coins. Salah still 500k. So, you know, Messi is still 2.2. The team of the years, right? We looked at Messi team of the year and he was 2.2, 2.3. He's still right around that price range. So, it's these sorts of cards that are going to be panic sold here very soon. It's going to be the entire market once we come to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if footies is actually next and the hype for that starts to build. So with these level up cards, right, they're the most important and the most hype cards right now in this game. If you haven't sold cards from your team already from like team of the season or shapeshifters that you're, you know, expecting to see crashes and drops on in the coming week. Again, you can still hold on to those. Just be careful with them. All right. Don't hold on to them for too long if you're really worried about losing a lot of coins But with these level up cards. They're going to keep fluctuating. There's going to be a couple cards that go up a lot today. Nunez was one that I wanted to try to buy at a good price early in the day today on Sunday or late night Saturday for my time because I knew that he's going to have some good fluctuations even today. A lot of people really want to get the 5 star 5 star Nunez. Goretzka is probably going to have good fluctuations again. Chalmeni is going to have good fluctuations again. So if you can time it, there's good money in this stuff. Like I showed you with Renato. Oh my gosh, like Chalmeni in 10 minutes, less than that. Five minutes ago, we checked his price. He was 1-4. Now he's 1-3-5. That's the crazy undercuts you have in the late night and crazy drops with these cards that you see. But they get too low, and sometimes they bounce back. So, I mean, guys, yes, this is a market crash. Yes, prices are dropping. But it is going to get to a whole new level and affect a lot more on the market than just these level up cards. But it's still crazy to see how much those cards are dropping off. Can we get a Yusuf Atal check really quick? 
Uh, Atal is oh, 68,000 coins. Well, I mean, we knew, right? We said it in yesterday's video too. I think I said, what did I say? 80K for this guy at some point, either in the stream or in the video. Yeah, he's going lower than I even expected. But you do one game and you get the 93 and it's a GG. So who's surprised? Not really too many people. Now, is that going to continue happening today is the question. Like we mentioned, on the level up cards, probably still going to be dropping off. Now, you might remember last week, Monday, they did end up going up in price. So we'll be watching out for that today on Sunday for sure on the market. But how could content affect those prices today? I mean, we do know we're going to get one player SBC today. We'll start off by talking about that. Let's talk about what to expect today on FIFA 23 on Sunday. Not expecting a whole lot unless EA has a surprise up their sleeve for us. We do have a guaranteed SBC, though, coming for Axel Witzel. Today is July 16th, last time I checked. The calendar backs me up on that. And this card, EA says, is coming July 16th as well. I'm guessing it's an SBC into the objective, just like with Terrier. Uh, Ten separate matches and squad battles in five La Liga players is not that bad because if you compare those stats of Axel Witzel to those of Chow Many, who is on the market right now at 1.3 million coins that we just looked at, Chow Many and Witzel are actually very comparable. And I think Ch uh, this Witzel card actually might have better stats. 90 dribbling on uh, Chow Many versus 92 on Witzel. Not as good of links for this Witzel card. Of course, you got the Griezmann, you got some other Atletico Madrid links. Um, but for 10 separate matches and doing a cheaper, probably a cheaper SBC, comparing that to how many matches is Chow Many? 20? 20 different matches and a 1.3 million coin card. Something to think about. I guess this 96 is the better version of Chow Many. So still um, a bit of a comparison between those two. I was looking at the 94 Chow Many that's on the market. But the 93 Vitzel versus the 96 Chow Many, they're not too different. And it's a lot easier to get that grind done if you're looking for a budget beast in your La Liga side. And then also, remember last Sunday we had a um, objective by the name of Teji Sovereign. And here was our crafting objective Hoping for another one of those today. I know this SBC is only available for five more days, and I feel like since we're getting Vitzel today, there's maybe a chance that we wouldn't get another level up crafting player, but I hope we get another one today because Teji Savernier, we love the crafting objectives, guys. I know a lot of you guys do because they're so easy to get done, so very easy to complete, and I'm hoping that they drop another one of those today. It's not a guarantee, and I could honestly see them not doing it because there's only five days left of uh, this objective, if I could find it, uh, or sorry, of the SBC um, for the crafting objective. And then Tezzy Chavanier is, of course, in milestones. I don't know when he goes away either. Um, maybe he goes away this Friday when the rest of the level up cards do. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but that's something we could expect today. Other than that, will we get anything cool? Hopefully something else in terms of a pack either drops today or tomorrow. It might just be a quiet day today since we had the icon yesterday. I'm not expecting a mini release or anything like that. One thing I want to touch on and we'll talk about it later in the week is for a lot of you guys still grinding the upgrades for level up one, level up two, is EA going to um, extend these objectives? I don't think they're going to do that. I mean, a lot of people would hope to see the level up your game one and the level up your, your game two uh, be extended. Uh, well, level up game two is a bit longer, but level up one is expiring this Friday. So I hope they would extend this to kind of coincide with uh, level up two uh, that you have the extra week to do that for. But uh, I'm not expecting it. I mean, I don't think EA will have to do that. And that's really going to hurt the level up team one cards like Renato, like KDB, because then you're not going to be able to get their upgraded version anymore. All you will be able to get is the card that is on the market. So that's just kind of something to watch out for, especially with the level up team one cards as they're moving on the market. Oh, oh man, those crazy undercuts in these cards, man. You can make literally 50, 40 to 50K in seconds. If I would have been able to get that snipe, I would have been relisting that for like 1.38, 1.39, probably collecting a cheap, uh, a quick flip there, like a 25K flip or 30K, whatever that would have been. And that's how you can trade right now in this market if you want to get a bit risky. But hopefully today, EA drops something to surprise us a little bit. Guys, there's probably not going to be a stream today on Sunday, um, as I am expecting a bit of a quiet day. And I have got to get ahead on some upcoming extra videos. It's like we're sacrificing a stream today for some extra YouTube videos on the channel because of uh, EAFC information. We'll be posting some info on all of that and stuff that is to come. Um in uh, the coming days so just wanted to point that out there and uh yeah we'll be back on stream on monday and there'll be some additional uploads coming later this week 
as well. Um, and I'm going to be working on those today instead of streaming. So that's going to be the vibes for today, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in a video. Peace.